bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. It is an award that acknowledges persons who have been courteous to others while driving on the island. That award was given out this week to one of our very own during the Rotary Club of Lucaya's weekly luncheon at the Ruby Swiss restaurant. Talia Hall has that story. Safety driving into the Rotary Club. The Rotary Club of Lucaya celebrated the courtesy driver of the quarter award at their weekly meeting. This time around, a reporter here at ZNS Northern Service was recognized. Kimberly Mullings' original task took on a twist when she was called to a scene to cover a story on an accident, but ended up helping persons who were affected instead. Tommy Mitchell of the Road Safety Committee says they are proud of her efforts. We want to recognize this reporter because even though she was there to cover the story for work, we feel that she went above and beyond the call of duty to assist someone in need by the action she took for, and for this, she is to be commended. Okay. Mulling says it's an honor to be recognized when she least expected it. As a reporter, the first thing that you do when you get on the scene is yes, you do try to get a story, but I don't think people realize how many times these stories actually affect us. So in most instances, we care about the person first. We check to see if the person is okay. The story can come after. You can always get a story. But I just feel like if we lend assistance to people where we can, um, it'll help to make us better as people. John Fraser, chairman of the Road Safety Committee, noting that this is the 25th person that has been recognized since the launch of the program with the help of Rotary. It's not just us who identify the nominees. If you are driving along the street and you recognize somebody that has performed some act of courtesy, just uh, let us know, send it to us, and we will be happy to recognize you as a courteous driver of the quarter. The group is encouraging all road users to be cautious while traversing the streets. It's Talia Hall, ZNS Network News. Way to go, Kimberly. Well, one of the fastest growing faith-based television networks that reaches over 23 million homes hosting a special conference on Grand Bahama. The Faith Fest Conference under Bishop Henry Fernandez will be held from October 26th through the 28th, 2016. Bishop Fernandez Ministries is featured weekly on Impact Network for an extra push in the local growing religious tourism market. The Ministry of Tourism, together with Fernandez Ministries, will host a lifestyle of Faith Live recordings for a commercial. Fernandez says he's thankful for the warm welcome he has received so far and is excited to spread the great things about this island. One of the things that um, the governments of these nations need to understand that religious people, they do travel. And they spend billions of dollars going places. And uh, I can tell you, I will work tremendously hard to encourage people, not just in the United States and in Florida where I'm from, but people wherever they're watching my broadcast to make Grand Bahama their vacation spot, even beyond the conference. Director of the Ministry of Tourism, Betty Bethel, is inviting persons to come out tomorrow afternoon for the shoot. You don't have to wait until next year's Faith Fest to meet Bishop Henry Fernandez. You can actually come out to the taping of the promotional tool that will be used to promote Faith Fest to Grand Bahama. And we will be here on the Great Lawn at the Grand Lucayan tomorrow at 4 p.m. But we ask everyone to arrive by 3.30. Switching gears now, a prominent figure within the real estate industry on Grand Bahama has died. Hillary Jones of Churchill and Jones Real Estate Company passed away Friday evening in hospital in New Providence following an illness. The local businesswoman, who is said to have an indelible mark in the real estate industry, also served as president of the Grand Bahama Chamber of Commerce from 1993 to 1995. Members of the community expressing heartfelt sympathy to the family on Jones' passing. Among them, deputy leader of the Free National Movement, Peter Turnquest, who described Jones as a Bahamian trailblazer in the real estate business here on Grand Bahama. He called her a fearless and courageous woman, 
with an unmatched pioneering business spirit. The East Grand Bahama Member of Parliament says the establishment of Churchill & Jones Real Estate Company in Freeport more than four decades ago contributed much to the development and growth of this island. Hillary Jones died at the age of 69. And now it is time to ask the doctor. Hi, I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Kevin from Nassau asked, my mother is in her mid-60s and has given up driving at night. She says it's because of night blindness. I've never heard of night blindness before. What is it? Kevin, thanks for your great question. Night blindness is a fairly common vision problem, particularly for older adults. As we age, many processes in our bodies begin to work differently. And for many of us, that includes our vision. If your mom had good vision in the past, she's likely experiencing some age-related changes to her eyes. Cataracts can often cause difficulty with night driving because of the glare from oncoming headlights or because of blurring caused by cataracts. Other causes of night blindness include glaucoma, diabetes, a group of inherited eye diseases that causes deterioration of the retina, called retinitis pigmentosa, vitamin A deficiency, or side effects of certain medications, such as some drugs used to treat high blood pressure or rheumatoid arthritis. An examination by an eye specialist can help determine the specific cause of night blindness. Treatment is directed at the underlying cause when possible. Remember, the earlier a problem can be diagnosed, the greater the chances of improvement or recovery with treatment. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. And the special note, the West Grand Bahama District second annual tree lighting and gospel concert will be held on Sunday, November 29th from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Martintown Primary School grounds in Jonestown, 8 Mile Walk. Don't go away. Sports is up next with Ricardo Lightborn.